so we've got some really exciting news uh, we have <clears throat> as a community decided to get some land and to start growing our own veg so there is some potential as well to do some other things you know we're quite keen on keeping some bees obviously growing some wildflowers some uh, other you know, lavender and things like that that'll attract the bees um, but primarily to grow our own food why well because whether we want to accept it or not there are forces at work that uh, are really determined to strip away our humanity to strip away a very simple fact that we are essentially spiritual beings having a human incarnation however the plan from the Dark Lord was to deceive the hearts and minds of people so that brings us to a question about what part of us is made in the image of God. We're reading the scriptures that we're made in the image of God. What part of us is made in the image of God? So this is a question I ask quite a lot and uh, after years and years and years of seeking the face of the Lord to understand this, I do believe it is our mind that is made in the image of God. So I'm not going to go into that in too much detail. So it stands to reason that if something can capture or control your mind, taking your godliness away from you or has the potential to do so. So we're growing our own food because when you take responsibility for yourself that is when you have freedom and that's the bottom line. You are not a prisoner even if you are behind bars until you accept that you are a prisoner. Your mind is your most precious gift that you have to guard. Everything in our society is designed to want to take control of your mind and decide for you what and who you are. This is a very dangerous, very dangerous time we're in. So we've decided that we're going to take responsibility and we are going to grow our own food. So tomorrow we're off, a whole bunch of us, down to the land and to start preparing the land. So we want to get you guys involved with this. We want to keep you up to date with this because we hope that it encourage you within your communities to get together and to start taking more responsibility for yourself and to learn how to grow food and teach your children how to grow food. We've just seen it was Black Friday. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I've got a shop. It was a very Black Friday for me. Didn't have any customers. You know what I mean? They were all in the uh, mega, mega, mega stores. <clears throat> but that's okay, because my faith is in God. So, I'm good to go. I encourage you guys to get with your community, see what's real, have a look, what's truth, what's happening out there. These are very challenging times of change and the onslaught is for your mind. This is the bottom line. Where's your mind? Because where your mind is will be your heart. So we look forward to sharing this journey and may it be an encouragement for you guys to get with your communities and start taking responsibility for yourself. Black Friday happened. We've seen the chaos, not necessarily here in the UK, but, you know, maybe elsewhere. Imagine if it was widely known that there was, a very, there was a huge shortage of food. What would the state of the supermarkets be? It would be Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Saturday, Black Sunday, until there was nothing left. And then people would turn on each other because people have the faith in the system, you know. No one ever thinks that tomorrow the shop might not have any produce to sell. So we've decided to take some responsibility and we hope you join us in this journey and I hope that it encourages you guys to get with your communities and start taking responsibility because with, when you take responsibility for yourself, you have freedom.